Speaking at the Ministerial Annual Planning Workshop, Commissioner Lovisa Ukelo says more still needs to be done by the ministry to reach the 80% performance target as outlined by the Harambe Prosperity Plan 2. The ministry average performance as per the annual plan 2023-2024 was 73.3%. That is by the end of the third quarter. If we go back to Harambe Prosperity Plan, what should be our score? It's supposed to be 80% a day, right? But we are only having 73.3. What does that say? What does that indicate? Okay, we are almost there. So, but there are still some few percent that we need so that we can get there. All right. Quarter four, it is to be determined. Yes, you have submitted, but before we validate it, we cannot pronounce it. So we are expecting you to give us the final, final one, the result, final, final. And then we can now stand and say, yes, this is for quarter four. The four-day workshop aims to study the performance management system, analyzing data, identifying areas of improvement, and setting goals for the physical year. The outcome of the workshop is expected to provide an insight information for decision-making for the 2024-2025 financial year planning process. It's not costed. It's a daydream. So I'm really dreaming uh, very high to say that at the end of this workshop, our plan should be allocated with budget budget allocated to the activities and also I wish to see where we are saying that we are uh, uh, having shortage of personnel, shortage of manpower problem. Then we plan to say on this one we now need to improve, we need to add manpower, how many and by this time we are going to have it. Otherwise, we will be planning in cycle. I encourage each of you to actively engage, engage in this process, leveraging your expertise and insights to shape our strategic roadmap. Your presence here underscores the importance of collaboration, innovation, and strategic planning in achieving our objectives of safeguarding our nation and ensuring the safety and security of all its inhabitants. Julana Fuka, NBC News, Ventuk.